Hello everyone, Scott here. Welcome back to Storytime. Today we're reading Trucker and Train by Hannah Stark. Trucker loved to rule the road. He loved the sound of his engine. He loved the size of his tires. And most of all, Trucker loved his mighty horn. Honk! Trucker blasted as he rushed through the city. The mopeds swayed and gasped. The cars rattled and gulped. The pickups sputtered but followed in awe. Trucker was bigger and stronger and tougher than anyone else on the road. One day, Trucker went hauling far from the city. Up, 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 he trucked, over the mountains and through the clouds. Trucker beamed at the sight of the valley below. He'd never seen such open land and such endless roads. Oof. He cruised down the mountain, letting the breeze cool his hot engine. <laughs> On the horizon, Trucker spotted a long, strong freight zipping along a track. Who is that? Trucker revved. He shifted into high gear and raced up alongside. Train! Honk! Trucker blasted at the mopeds. Honk! He blared at the cars. Trucker gawked at the two, four, six, eight, ten cars pulled by train's big black engine. The mopeds were smitten. The cars were captivated. The pickups fell starstruck. Honk! But Trucker's tough horn was nothing next to train's engine and whistle. Trucker fumed, his hubcaps blurred. He revved his engine with all his might and proudly pulled ahead of train. Ding, 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 ding. Up ahead, two gates closed across the road. Everyone slowed to a stop. Why, Trucker revved, are we the ones stopping? Honk. The mopeds shook, the cars shuddered, the pickups glared, but no one moved for Trucker. Honk, 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 boo, boo. Train cruised across the junction. The mopeds gleamed, the cars wowed, the pickups swooned. Everyone was fascinated. Everyone except Trucker. Why, Trucker wondered, don't they ever gleam at me? Ding, 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 ding. Driving on, Trucker saw Train's track head into a station. He was happy to see the road bend up into the mountains. Up, 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 Trucker hauled as the moped zipped past, the cars whizzed by, and the pickups hurried on without even a glance. Honk, honk. Trucker tried to greet them. Rev, rev. Trucker tried to play. But no one seemed to notice. No one seemed to care. And Trucker suddenly felt smaller than he ever had before. At the top of the mountain, Trucker pulled aside to rest. He watched the moped zip around bends. He gazed at the cars coasting along. He smiled at the pickups tracing the ridges. Trucker looked ahead into the valley and saw Train's track reappear out of a tunnel. Oh no, Trucker whispered. There, down below, Train's tracks. Another junction, a broken off gate. What if no one notices? Trucker trembled. What if no one stops? Whoosh! Trucker hurtled down the mountain. The moped swerved, the cars pulled aside. The pickups braked very, very hard. Trucker's freight thrust down the mountain with more speed than ever. Ah! Trucker stopped. He turned. He reversed. He turned. He reversed. He had to block the road. Beep, beep, squeaked the mopeds. Toot, toot, piped the cars. Hog, hog, bled the pickups. One by one, they came to a stop and stared Trucker down. Trucker didn't like the beeps, or the toots, or the honks. 
He wished the horns would stop. He wished this time that train could chug faster. Boo boo! Everything rattled. Trucker counted to himself. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Train hurried off around the next bend and out of everyone's sight, and the valley fell silent until... Off in the distance, Train let out a long, thankful whistle, and one by one, the mopeds began to beep. The cars began to cheer. The pickups began to shimmy. And Trucker started off along with the others, happy to share the road. Be Thank you so much for joining us today. Now let's pop on over to Ronnie for an amazing craft. Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Colorado Railroad Museum. I'm Ronnie and I'm here to help with our craft this week, which is uh, goes to the book, Trucker and Train. So I'm really excited to do this because in the story, if you remember, they're talking about a railroad crossing signal going out. Trucker had to come to the rescue. And so today what we're gonna do is we are going to make a railroad crossing signal. So let's get started and see what you need. Some glue. You need one tank depressor painted or colored black, one popsicle stick colored or painted black, and two regular popsicle sticks just left alone because that's what we're going to write railroad crossing on. And then we need a marker so that we could do the writing. We need a little tiny cup, kind of the swish, swisher cup, some scissors. You could do whatever you want. You could even just color the, the signals red, but you can do pom-poms. You can do little, um, the sequence, but anything that's two red colors to make the signal. All right, let's get started. First thing you need to do, if you haven't done it already, is either paint or color the popsicle sticks. I had these extra from something else that I was doing, so I thought I'd better use them. And so these are already ready. But if you haven't, go ahead and paint them or color them. So when you get this all dry and everything, what you're gonna do is you're going to, you're going to make sure that you know where to put the popsicle stick. So you know they're right here. And now you're gonna write on them. So put aside the big tongue depressor and on one of them you're gonna write railroad crossing but you're gonna leave a little space between it. So put them all in capital letters. And then remember to leave that space. So you have railroad. And then on this one, you're gonna put crossing. Now to make sure you got it right, I would go ahead and put that right there. I think that's gonna work. Okay, put those aside for a second. And then you're gonna get also back your kind of pressure that's been painted or colored black. And you're gonna get the popsicle stick and you're gonna glue it right here. Now we have a chance to do some drying before you do the rest of it. So glue. I always tell my kids or family or whatever to make sure you count a little bit, make sure it's gonna stay. If you can see the white, that's okay. It's gonna dry and look clear anyway. There you go. Then you're gonna get your railroad crossing. Railroad goes on first. I would use a lot of glue to make sure it stays really good. Like I said, it's going to dry clear. Put some more glue on top of that. 
and you're going to have karasi right across. Now we just kind of leave it there for a while. Okay. Maybe you could hold down to it for a little bit. All right. Now for the fun part, you're going to get those sequins or uh, pom-poms or whatever little colors you want. Make sure they're red for the signals and glue those on. So we put a little bit of glue on each end. And I'm using the, the sequins because they kind of glitter in the sun or wherever you are. Put it right there. Aha! And then put... And I would really suggest just leaving it here on top of your table for a little while until it's really dry and then you can um, put it inside the cup. So if, while this is drying, I am going to put it aside and get my cup ready. And all you're going to do is make a little hole. You're going to need a big one. Like that, because when you push in the tongue depressor, it's going to make it bigger. So it fit better. But then all you have to do, stick it on here. Push a little hard. And now you have your railroad crossing signal. I hope you enjoyed your our craft today. I know I did. And I love coming up with different ideas for you. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. But in the meantime, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to visit our online gift shop for a wide variety of train-themed children's books.